Okay, what we have here is the uh, head for the life size poodle. And today I began to uh, texture the fur. I also insert these temporary eyes. Well, not temporary. I'll go ahead and make them mold. Put those eyes in place. And we're using a dental tool to uh, create the texture. Let me get you a better zoom in a little. Let's see. That'll be good there. Yeah, excuse me, I'm not I'm wearing one of these tank tops. It's kind of warm here in Southern California right now. I'm going to let this video go for maybe eight minutes or so. If it's anything uh, longer than ten, YouTube will not accept. I'll play with the eyes later to kind of uh, emulate the uh, Oh look, I'm looking at from that particular image the client submitted. And I'm using a... Excuse me. Hello. Nobody there. be done with this head another let's say maybe two weeks or so. I do have to work on the mouth. The mouth will be slightly open. Hold on. Get up. Showing little teeth. And the head will be cocked on this here once it's added back to the torso. And right now I'm just focusing on his left side. If I like the way it comes out, I'll go ahead and work on the other side. Poodles have really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Really tight fur. It's going in every direction. So I'm going to just play with different textures and see what I like best. So far, I like it. And I'll uh, have the client approve this section here. It could be fuller or a little tighter. And I'm looking at the image, which I don't see anymore. It's on a different uh, screen on the monitor, but nevertheless, it's parts of this here are really somewhat wavy, uh, really rough. So we're just going to play with it until we capture the look and feel that it's true the dog. So. I'm happy with the nose. I'm going to leave the nose alone. Oh, I may close it up a little, build it up a little more. And, uh, I'm hoping you can hear my voice. I 
and this sculpture should be in the foundry's hand sometime in December. It'll probably take the foundry three to four months to complete the casting. And I'll be using AmericanFineArts.com. No, it's AFA foundry.com there in Burbank. That's Burbank, California. Years. It's okay for now, but I think tomorrow I'll to grab a torch and apply heat and kind of give him a more definition. As you can see, I, my armature is composed of foam down at the bottom, so when I use my torch on it, whenever the heat hits the foam down there, it'll just shrink on on me, the actual foam areas it's hitting, it's hitting, it'll somewhat dissolve, get smaller, and allow me to alter the shape of this here. back to the photograph of the skog. Yeah, I'm looking at the photograph. He's actually, I think, fuller up here in this area. So I have to add some more clay to this, this cheek area. In this particular picture, he was nicely groomed, so it looks like a hot shot right now. Okay, that's gonna be it for the video. Let me just shut it off.